Hi everyone! Sa video na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-simplify by rationalizing the denominators. Just keep on watching! Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Good day mga anak shis! Kamusta kayong lahat? Nasaan na ang mga solid supporters at mga solid viewers natin dyan? Mag-comment naman kayo, okay? Upang sa ganon ay magpakita ito sa iba pang mga viewers natin, okay? Ito ang magiging guide ninyo sa learning task 2. Letter B, Week 5. Simplify by rationalizing denominators. Diba, tinuro ko na sa inyo kung paano mag-simplify ng mga radical expression. At kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung mga ibang paraan, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas para mapanood ninyo. Okay, so let's have number 1. 6 over square root of 2. Ang kailangan natin gawin dito, maghanap tayo ng pwede nating i-multiply kay square root of 2 para maging perfect square siya. Ano nga ba yung mga perfect square? ba diba? 1, 4, 9, 16, at marami pang iba. Okay? So, ang pwede nating i-multiply dito ay square root of 2 para maging perfect square siya. So, ang i-multiply natin ay square root of 2 para maging 4. Then, kung ano ang i-multiply natin dito sa denominator, yun din ang i-multiply natin dito sa numerator. And then, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. So, numerator to numerator, then denominator to denominator. 6 times square root of 2 equals 6 square root of 2. Okay, take note, hindi natin ito pwedeng i-multiply dahil ito, whole number, at ito ay may radical sign. Over square root of 2 times square root of 2, ito pareho sila ng index at parehong may radical sign, pwede nating i-multiply. So, 2 times 2 equals 4, then kopyahin yung radical, then simplify. So, 6 square root of 2 over what is the square root of 4? That is 2, kasi 2 times 2 equals 4, so 2. Ngayon, pwede pa ba natin itong i-simplify? Pwede, yung 6 at 2. Okay? So, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Then, kopyahin yung my radical expression. Hindi natin pwedeng i-divide ito kasi nga, ito whole number at ito my radical expression. Okay? So, let's have another example. Number 2. The cube root of 11 over 4. So, dito naman, cube root naman. So, ano yung mga perfect cubes? ba diba? 1, 8. Ano ang pwede nating i-multiply kay 4 para maging perfect cube siya? Pwede nating i-multiply ang 2 para maging cube root of 8. So, cube root of 2. Then, ganun din dito sa taas. Cube root of 2. Then, multiply. Cube root of 11 times cube root of 2. Pareho sila ng index. Pwede natin itong i-multiply. 11 times 2 equals 22. Then, kopyahin ang radical sign. Over cube root of 4 times cube root of 2. I-multiply ang radical. 4 times 2 equals 8. Then, kopyahin ang radical sign. Equals... Simplify cube root of 22 kasi hindi naman ito perfect cube over ano ang cube root ng 8? That is 2 kasi 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. Pwede pa ba natin itong simplify? Hindi na. Sabi ko nga kanina, hindi ninyo pwedeng i-divide na lang yung may radical expression dito sa my full number. Another example, the fourth root of 7 over 8 naman. Okay, so dito naman, hanapin natin ang mga pwede nating i-multiply kay 8 para maging perfect fourth root. Ano ba yung mga perfect fourth root natin? ba? Diba? Yung 1 at ang susunod na ay 16. Ano ang i-multiply natin kay 8 para maging 16? That is 2. Okay, so ang i-multiply natin ay fourth root of 2 
Ganon din dito sa taas. Fourth root of 2. Then multiply. So, fourth root of 7 times fourth root of 2. Multiply the radicand. That is 7 times 2 equals 14. Then magiging fourth root siya. Over the fourth root of 8 times 2 equals 16. Then simplify na natin. Perfect root ba ang 14? Hindi. Ganun pa rin siya. Over the fourth root of 16 equals 2. Kasi 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16. Pwede bang isimplify ito? Hindi. Kasi may radical ito, ito wala. Okay, so ito na yung final answer. Another example, number 4. 9 over square root of 7. Okay, so ito, katulad lang din siya ng number 1 natin kanina. Ano ang pwede natin i-multiply kay 7 para maging perfect square? Square root of 7. So, square root of 7, ganun din dito sa numerator. Then, proceed na tayo sa multiplication. 9 times square root of 7 equals 9 square root of 7. Over... Square root of 7 times square root of 7 equals square root of 49. Then, simplify. 9 square root of 7 over ano ang square root ng 49? That is 7. Pwede ba natin simplify or i-reduce to lowest term yung 9 at 7? Hindi na. Kaya ito na yung final answer. Another example, number 5, the cube root of 9 over cube root of 6. Ngayon, ano ang pwede nating i-multiply kay 6 para maging perfect cube root siya? Okay, ang pwede nating i-multiply ay 36 para maging 216. So, magiging cube root of 36, then ganun din dito sa taas, cube root of 36. Then, pwede na nating i-multiply. Okay, so the cube root of 9 times cube root of 36, that is cube root of 324 over 6 times 36 equals 216. So, cube root of 216. And then, simplify. Magiging, kopihin muna natin to, cube root of 324 over, ano ang cube root ng 216? That is 6. Kasi 6 times 6 equals 36 times 6 equals 216. Ngayon, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung numerator ay malaki pa. So, meron akong mga tinuro, ba para maging simplified ang ating radical expressions. Ang pwede natin gamitin ay yung by prime factorization. So, Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yun, panoorin nyo para malaman ninyo kung paano gamitin ang prime factorization. So, we have 324. Ano yung mga prime factors ng 324? So, kunin na muna natin to 9 and 36. Pero hindi pa prime factors. So, so, ano yung mga prime factors ng 9? That is 3 and 3. Yung 36 naman, 6 and 6. Pero hindi pa prime factors ang 6. So, 6 is ang prime factors niya ay 3 and 2, then 3 and 2. So, prime factors na lahat to. Ngayon, di ba ang tinuro ko, hahanap tayo ng tatlong magkakaparehong number. So, yun ay 3. Di ba yan na yung 3? Yun yung ilalabas natin. Then, ang matitira ay cube root of 2 times 3 equals 6 times 2 equals 12. So, ito yung simplified form nito. Ilalagay natin dito. So, 3 cube root of 12 over 6. Then, pwede pa ba natin isimplify to? Pwede. Kasi yung 3 at 6, pwede pang i-reduce to lowest term. Pwede natin i-divide yung 3, both numerator and denominator, at magiging 1 over 2. So, the final answer is cube root of 12 over 2. Okay, so this is the final answer. Another example, number 6, 1 over 9 minus square root of 2. Tinuro ko na to sa nakaraang video natin. It, ang pwede natin gamitin dito ay multiply natin yung 
conjugate ng denominator. Ano nga ba yung conjugate? Kukunin lang natin yung opposite sign ng operation. So, i-multiply natin to sa kanyang conjugate. So, magiging 9 plus square root of 2. Ganon din dito sa numerator. 9 plus square root of 2. Then, multiply the expression. So, 1 times 9 plus square root of 2 equals 9 plus square root of 2. Over, ito, tinuro ko na rin na ang product ng sum and difference is equal to the square of the first term minus square of the second term. So, anong first term natin? 9. So, 9 squared minus, take note ha, palaging minus kapag sum and difference. Square of the second term, ano ang second term natin? Square root of 2 at maglagay tayo ng kanyang squared. Next, simplify 9 plus square root of 2 over 9 squared, that is 9 times 9 equals 81. Minus, what is the square of the square root of 2? Kapag ganito, pareho yung exponent at yung index, di ba, makakancel na to using the law of a radical. So, ang matitira na lang ay yung radicand na 2. Okay? Next, simplify. 9 plus square root of 2 over 81 minus 2 equals 79. Okay? Pwede pa ba natin isimplify to? Hindi na kasi wala naman silang common factor. So, this is the final answer. Now, let's have another example. Number 7, 10 over square root of 6 plus 2. So, kagaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina, imumultiply natin siya sa conjugate ng denominator. So, ano ang conjugate ng denominator? That is, square root of 6, papalitan lang ng sign, magiging minus 2. Then, ganun din dito, square root of 6 minus 2. Then, multiply. 10 times square root of 6 minus 2 equals 10. Then, maglagay ng parenthesis, square root of 6 minus 2. Over the product of the sum and difference, that is, the square of the first term. So, square root of 6 squared minus the square of the second term. So, that is 2 squared. Then, simplify the expression. Kopihin muna natin to 10 times square root of 6 minus 2 over ano ang square ng square root of 6. Sabi ko kanina, by using the law of radical, makakancel na yun. Ang matitira na lang ay yung radicand, which is 6. Minus ano ang square ng 2? That is 4. Kasi 2 times 2 equals 4. Then simplify, magiging 10 times square root of 6 o minus 2 over 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Okay, pwede pa ba natin itong isimplify? Pwede. Pwede natin i-divide yung 10 at 2. So, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Then, kopyahin yung may parenthesis. So, square root of 6 minus 2. Okay, be careful lang ha. Baka i-divide ninyo yung 6 at 2. At yung negative 2 at 2, hindi pwede yon kasi isang term ito, okay? So, the final answer is 5 times square root of 6 minus 2. Or, kung gusto naman ng teacher ninyo na isimplify pa ito, pwede naman i-distribute ninyo yung 5 dito sa quantity. Okay, so magiging 5 times square root of 6, that is 5 square root of 6. Then, 5 times negative 2 equals negative 10. Okay? So, or na lang. Or. Kasi pwede ito at pwede rin namang ganito. Another example, number 8. 2 over square root of 7 minus square root of 3. So, ano ang conjugate ng denominator? Papalitan lang natin ito ng positive sign. Okay? So, magiging square root of 7 plus square root of 3. Ganon din dito sa numerator. Magiging square root of 7 plus square root of 3. Then, multiply. So, 2 times square root of 7 plus square root of 
Dito naman sa denominator, the product of sum and difference is equal to the square of the first term. Ang first term ay square root of 7. Then, kunin lang natin yung square niya. Minus square of the second term. So, square of the second term. And simplify natin. So, kopyahin muna natin to. 2 times square root of 7 plus square root of 3 over what is the square of square root of 7 by using the law of radical makakancel na lang ito ang matitira na lang ay 7 minus ganun din dito makakancel na ito ang matitira na lang ay 3 next simplify so 2 papihin muna natin to is square root of 7 plus square root of 3 over 7 minus 3 equals 4 Pwede pa ba itong isimplify, yung 2 at 4? Pwede, kasi divisible sila sa 2. So, ang lowest term ng 2 fourths ay 1 half. So, magiging 1 times, or wag niyang ilagay yung 1, magiging square root of 7 na lang plus square root of 3 over 2. Another example, number 9, square root of 3 over square root of 3 minus 1. So, kunin natin yung conjugate ng denominator and that is square root of 3 plus 1 and ganun din dito, square root of 3 plus 1. Then, multiply square root of 3 times parenthesis square root of 3 plus 1 over get the product of the sum and difference and that is square root of 3 squared minus square root of second term so that is 1 squared ito pwede nyo nang i-multiply dito so square root of 3 times square root of 3 equals square root of 9 plus square root of 3 times 1 equals square root of 3 over ano naman ang square ng square root of 3 makakancel na yan so magiging 3 na lang siya Minus 1 squared is equal to 1 kasi 1 times 1 equals 1. Then simplify. Ano ang square root ng 9? That is 3. Plus, perfect square ba ang 3? Hindi. So, square root of 3 na lang siya. Over, 3 minus 1 equals 2. Pwede pa bang isimplify ito? Hindi kasi wala naman silang common factor. So, this is the final answer. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video na to. Kung meron kayong mga katanungan or clarifications, just comment down below. At kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like, subscribe, at ishare nyo na rin sa mga classmates ninyo. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!